Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas. I think we're on episode eight now. So that's basically, we're three quarters in. And I basically wanted to address um, loads of questions regarding from my other vlog about the trade copier that I actually use. And I'm genuinely convinced that you guys don't watch my videos or at least <laughs> you don't listen because I literally named the trade copier that I used in the first 10 seconds. So I'm gonna quickly jump on the screen. I'm gonna show you and kind of talk to you a little bit about Social Trader Tools. Um, so yeah. So the platform I use is Social Trader Tools. You can literally just Google it. It's this one here. And you can pretty much see like, here's their trade copier section. I think the main question that I got from everyone was if it will automatically um, adjust the lot size from the master account to the slave account. You can see here in the risk settings that there's a risk multiplier by balance. So it will automatically calculate the proportional lot size based on the balance of both accounts. And I highly recommend to use this setting and not equity um, because obviously equity is moving, especially if you're in a trade. You can basically read all of this. All the information is on this, on this website. And then obviously you can just click get started if you're interested. So within the actual dashboard, once you've set up your accounts and you go into trade copiers, you can set up a new copier and you can see that copy from, let's say it's from my main and then send to personal account. And then again, when I was saying earlier, you can do multiple risk types, highly recommend the balance and then multiplier is one. You making? Chai latte. Chai latte. Put some chili powder in it. <laughs> some sriracha. <laughs> some sriracha. <laughs> so as for the markets, I'm not in any positions and the market's looking quite corrective. Especially even last week, it was quite corrective. There wasn't any setups that were in my plan that I wanted to take. Um, however, there was a missed opportunity on UJ from last week we had the retrace at around 9 a.m in the morning but again i'm not familiar with trades from um dollar yen especially like i said you guys know that my main four pairs where i take 95 percent of my trades are actually from au nu ej and eu so with uj i'd like to see something that's very high probability very very clean and yeah just how we impulse down this is definitely more of a valid trade and again, this is why it's going into my ASR for my other opportunities. Um, again, I'm gonna put up on the screen, but that is probably locked in around 1.34, running at around 2.75 at the moment. It's currently 2 p.m. on a Monday. Um, but yeah, as for today, I don't really see, like I'm not, I haven't set any alerts in terms of any entries um, today. Let's do a taste test of my housemate's chai latte. Mm. Mm hmm Oh my god, did you put ginger? No. Oh. oh. So I'm trying to get my roommate to do a, a question and answer with me. Let me pick a question. Okay. There's always some sort of question around. Okay. <laughs> People are gonna meme that. <laughs> So um, the question is, hey, how do you keep focused when you're on your work blocks? <laughs> okay, um, I stay focused by making a list. For example, if I were to be writing an article, because mm -hmm. I did fashion journalism, um, I would write what my hook is, mm -hmm. what my paragraph is gonna be about. So it won't, yeah. my list won't say, write an article. I don't, I don't find that helpful at all. Yeah, it's like having clarity on, like it's making a task and then actually having actionable steps towards it. Exactly, breaking so, it down. Yeah, it's like, otherwise it's too overwhelming and you're like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. No, exactly. It's like, you need to know, have that clarity to know how to start and exactly what you're gonna do. Yeah. I can't have music. It's sort of like, you gotta try things out and test things out to see what works for you. Yeah. Cause for me, I do like music on, mm -hmm. but when I'm doing a certain task, again like you I won't mm -hmm. um, but I think for me it's literally like clearing my desk and not or having my phone desk. yeah like oh my gosh have to have a clear desk clear desk clear 100%. mind 100% okay mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I hope that answers your question. Hiya, I just ordered a pizza online. However, I thought it was going to be delivered. Is there any chance that um, it can be delivered? Hello? Hello? You can't I see me. Can't see me. It can't hear me. <laughs> I feel like this is always a sign. Like when I order something, it's like God being like, stop wasting your money. I did try and persuade you. So it is currently much later in the evening. I've just come home, had a shower because I went to the gym. So hair is extra floofy. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just check in um, and end the vlog here and probably do an evening forecast. So it's just been a new day in the markets. <clears throat> so we'll see how the market's been looking. Um, there was a couple of positions that I was eyeing, but I just quickly scanning now, like it's been valid invalidated. Um, earlier today woke up like super early like five and usually once i'm awake like i can't go back to sleep um so did early work blocks today so ended up actually finishing at around nine nine ish um and then met a couple friends for brunch lunch um went to the ivy in chelsea and i was actually spotted by a fellow subscriber so shout out to chang um, who spotted me outside trying to take a photo of the uh, Chelsea baubles. Uh, but yeah, thought we'd uh, actually just jump in to the charts. I'll quickly do a screen recording now. So we're looking at Aussie dollar at the moment and you can see that we have been like pushing up. Currently in the one hour time frame, as you guys know, I execute on the hourly. I use um, higher time frames for confluence, but I was looking at this sort of somewhat ascending. It's not the cleanest structure, structure wise but you can see that we had this push down, which was nice. And what I was waiting for was to see if we broke this high and then had a retrace, almost like a flag formation. Uh, but you can see we didn't, we had the counter trend inside bar, then we broke this low. So right now, let's just see what happens because easily we can just continue to come down, come up, come down, and then just become range bound. So for EU, we can see that we've just pretty much been range bound. And you know, you can say, support resistance whatever but you can see this whole range here if you want to see it as a pattern in fact you can definitely see like a double top area right up here and then for those who do trade patterns you can say that this is going to form a three touch pattern but let's see if we push down or if this actually turns into a much larger sort of flag to the upside because again, if you do want to look at the higher time frames, you can definitely tell that there's some sort of momentum to the upside. But I mean, this is how, this is why I like to trade how I'm trading now. It's a lot more refined. It's a little bit more mechanical. Uh, I'm just taking price for what it is. No, none of these trend lines, none of these um, zones and stuff. And I'm just seeing how price is, and I can definitely tell it's corrective. It's not the kind of price action that I want to be involved in. So for EJ, same story. I think these euro pairs. Um, have just been correcting and I'm not interested until we get some sort of clear momentum, clear direction to the upside or to the downside um, and we'll see what happens. Over this UJ position that I had missed, so essentially the short would have been at this retrace, would have taken it at a 15 pip stop loss and the moment we broke the slow, I would have trailed my stop to up here and then just continue to trail it to around 1.4%. You can see we absolutely smashed and reversed. So yeah guys, that is the evening forecast. Just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, this is definitely more of a chill vlog. Um, I appreciate you if you did get to the end. Smash the thumbs up button if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next vlogmas. <laughs> Alright, here's bye. Yeah, I can hear you. Shabuya, sha, sha, shabuya, roll call.